Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Recently, some React vulnerability issue got exposed and also they have published a full blog post and they are suggesting to upgrade to the latest stable version. And here you see that on December 3, 2025, they published this blog post that critical security vulnerability in React server components. And after that, when people thought that it got resolved, again, they have published another blog post on December 11, that is another vulnerability which is denial or service means a DOS attack and source code exposure in React server components. And then again, they have uh, issued this kind of severity, high severity and medium severity. And uh, they told immediate action required and they need to upgrade to the stable versions, another versions. Okay. So what was that? What was that issue? We will discuss on that in this video and you will get enough idea. And also I will discuss with you some of the uh, huge cases that many people have published on Reddit on Twitter. Uh, so you will get an idea that what was affected due to this malware, due to this vulnerability. Okay. So this was the post uh, that I found on Twitter. This person posted that I have been hacked and pressed the malware's wallet to see how much money they actually made from this new exploit. If you use Next.js or React, read this. I woke up uh, to a terrifying email from Hetznar. A net scan detected. My server was blocked and a botnet was using my IP to attack others. I dug into the logs and what I found the anatomy of the attack. The symptoms I logged into the laptop and saw this mess. CPU usage 361%. Okay, so means if you see 100% CPU usage, then also you will feel that the slide cause slowdown. But here the CPU usage is 361%. A process named this running wild random connections to an IP in the Netherlands. My server was not serving my app anymore. It was mining crypto for someone else. Then the culprit. It was not a random SSH brute force. It was inside my Next.js container. So it was the issue due to Next.js. Why? Because here you see they have told the critical security vulnerability in React server components. So those who use this React server components, they will get affected. And they specifically mentioned that the vulnerability is present in versions 19, 19.1.0, 19.1.1 and 19.2.0 of these packages. Okay. And uh, also they told that uh, some React frameworks and bundlers developed dependent on and had peer dependencies for and also included the vulnerable React packages. The following React frameworks and bundlers are affected like Next, React Router, and also this parcel RSC and VDJS plugin RSC, RWSDK. So this RSC means React Server Components, right? These are the uh, some bundlers and some uh, frameworks like Next. So Next.js will get affected if you use this kind of versions, okay? So uh, that's why uh, his Next.js app got, uh, got uh, attacked and the malware was sophisticated. It renamed itself Nginx S and the Apache to look like web server. And the root cause, probably the recent React on Next.js CV 2025 66 478 exploit was the entry point. Now, if you notice this blog post, then you will see this kind of uh, numbers like um, CVE and uh, some numbers. What that actually means, CVE means critical vulnerability and uh, this 2025 means the year name and now next is the sequence number. So basically CV is the global standardization for any critical uh, vulnerability. It may be React, it may be Node.js or it can be anything. This is a global standardization for uh, actually uh, for writing or for disclosing any vulnerability issue. You can use this code format. Okay. Now uh, this is one thing and here you see so uh, because of user root, the malware could install cron system uh, md and persistent scripts to survive reboots. So basically the thing is that um, user got access to the react server components without knowing the login, without knowing any server details, without knowing any IP, without knowing anything, uh, attacker can attack your website but uh, by just uh, accessing the server components that uh, slash RSC. So if you know about the React server components, here you see slash RSC typically refers to the server components, React server components in modern web development. 
So basically, this is the endpoint in uh, React Server components. If you know these things, then you can easily send some kind of uh, payload, some malicious payload, and you can uh, get attack to the. You can attack to that uh, React Server components that website. Okay. You just have to know that uh, that website uses React Server components. That is enough. You can attack to that website. So this was the issue. And after that, they told that immediate action required. They uh, told uh, to upgrade to these versions if you want to uh, get rid of re get rid of this um, uh, attack and also if you want to fix this uh, attack so this was the thing and after that uh, th this was uh, declared on december 3 and after that on december 11 they told again uh, denial of service and source code exposure so uh, the thing is that uh, this dos attack okay where is that? Where is that? Denial of service. Denial of service. Okay, this one high severity. And this was the code, and base code was 7.5, so this was already high. What they told that uh, security researchers have discovered a malicious HTTP request can be corrected and sent to any server function endpoints that, when deserialized by React, can cause infinite loop that hang the server process and consume CPU. And that was exactly the cause uh, that was happened here. In this case, CPU uses 361%. So basically, when you are accessing the server components in React, then you can send any kind of malicious payload uh, by using this uh, slash RSC React server component uh, endpoint, and uh, you can uh, send any kind of nested payload or nested object. And um, where, what will happen that A will call B, B will call A, and again A will call B, again B will call A. This kind of nested payload you can send and that will be executed on the server and the server basically will hang up. And that was happened in this case, in this case. Okay, this was the use case. So and this was called denial of service. And after that, they told that uh, uh, to fix this, um, to fix this, you have to upgrade this uh, in, in these versions. And after that, there was another medium severity issue, source code exposure. Here also, uh, this kind of uh, example that they have given that it can expose your uh, server functions like in this way. So this was a thing. And also, uh, this was another use case. I got hacked, 10 plus apps and projects and three servers were affected. I genuinely thought my setup was reasonably secure. Unfortunately, it was not. The attackers managed to execute arbitrary code on my servers and deployed uh, some mining scripts that was that pushed cpu uses beyond 400 and encrypted all files they also left a ransom note with payment instruction to recover the data i am not spending the entire weekend restoring everything from backups so this is good that they had the backups what's especially concerning is the timing the incident happened while critical vulnerabilities in react and nextjs were being disclosed specifically cb is 55182 so this was, I think, this one. Yes, this one. Here you see, 55182 means the on December th 3rd December, the first issue when they reported, and impact confirmed on React 19. So basically, those who are using the React 19, and also also the React server components, both together, they will get the if they will get affected. Those who are not using React server components, they will not get affected. This is for sure. Okay. So this is uh. Many people are saying that react to sale, the first issue that got occurred. Okay, so uh, if you are running production apps with Next.js, React 19, and server actions or exposed RSC endpoints, please take this seriously. Patch immediately, restrict server execution, audit logs, and rotate uh, secrets, and isolate workloads. Okay, this is the actual things got happened. I hope you got the idea that uh, what wh why this kind of issue got uh, happened. So basically, in summary, uh, when uh, they are accepting the payloads in React server components, there was no restriction. There was no checking. Uh, the, if you want, if you uh, send any kind of payloads or any kind of nested objects, anything, uh, it will execute that in that server. Okay. So basically, without knowing any uh, any login credential, any without knowing the server IP, you can send any kind of malicious payload to that server by using the common uh, server endpoint of react server component slash rsc you can send the malicious payload and you can execute that there because there was no check for the uh, for, for the payloads okay that what kind of payload it is accepting what kind of data you are sending 
there was no check and it, it, it was just executing that blindly okay so i hope that you got the idea if you want to get this type of videos more this detailed explanation don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care